Hi, I'm Amanda Perna from amandaperna.com and today I will be showing you DIY jeans with jewels. So if you buy a pair of jeans and they're kind of too plain for you, you want to make them your own and customize them, putting on rhinestones and jewels is the best way to do it. It's easy, it's quick, and it makes them one of a kind. So today I'm going to show you how to do this. This is just something I came up with on my own. You can do whatever you want, be inspired by something, or just create your own thing. So the first thing is to figure out what kind of layout you want. So whether you want something that's full or you want something spread out, you can draw it on with chalk if you like. I like to just kind of use double stick tape so that way it's secure but not permanent. So the first thing you're going to do is I like to cut little pieces of tape. So you'll cut your tape and you'll put it on the back of each jewel. And this isn't permanent, so it doesn't have to be gorgeous the way you stick it down because it's going to wind up coming off in the end. So I have a bunch of different jewels here. You could use any kind you like. There's ones with flat backs or ones with the sewing, and today we're going to do the ones where you sew them on. You could also just choose to glue the whole thing down if that's easier for you, but I prefer to sew them on. So just take out the pieces you want to get the layout, and you'll just stick them down like this. You're going to do the same thing for each and every one of them. So what you're going to do, you stick your pieces down. So this one here I just taped down so you can see how it will look. So, you know, they're not going to fall. They're all secure. I like to use clear thread because that way you're not going to see it if the color is not perfect. Um, if you want it to be standing out more, you can always use a colorful thread. You can make that part of your design even and use something that's thicker. And then you're just going to go through the back of it. You can either leave the tape if you taped it delicately or you can pull it off. Just remember where you put it. And then it's as easy as going through the back, coming up through the hole that's in your stone. With these, they happen to have four, so you can either go through all four or just through two. I like to go through all four because I feel like it's more secure. You do have to watch, as I just did, you, you can get these caught in the other ones. So you're just going to stick it up. Make sure you keep it close to the stone so it's not threads, there's not threads all over the place. And I like to tie off after each one, but if you don't care, you can just keep going all throughout them. Um, but do note that the, uh, the more you tie off, the safer your stone will be. So then you just go through the back. Oops, see, I'm knocking stones off there. That's the beauty of double stick. They at least stay a little bit better. Okay. And then at the end, you just cut it off if it's too long and go on to the next one. So that's how you DIY jeans with jewels. 